Hi guys, uh, am I audible? Cool. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen present here. Um, my name is Parth and uh, I've come here to have a quick chat uh, about a lot of things, you know, primarily about programmatic marketing and its landscape. Also know a lot of opinions from your end about a lot of things, right? So uh, starting with a simple question, like, can, I, can we get the slides uh, changed? All right, so how many of you guys um, have ever made a purchase after going through an online ad? How many of you guys have been ever persuaded to make a purchase? All right, so keeping this thought in mind today, as we explore the uh, quite intricate, quite uh, delicate relationship between trust and advertising, in programmatic marketing. All right, as we dive deep into the dynamic digital era, you know, it reminds me of a thought. It goes like, advertisement is a legalized form of lying. All right, so now, how do you build trust with that notion? You know, when we talk about digital advertising, digital industry as whole, I think the currency that works here is trust. And it is much more truer in the sense of programmatic marketing. It's not just about automation or, you know, uh, buzzwords like that, but it's more about a data-driven approach that has led to this unprecedented growth. By unprecedented, I mean in the year 2022, the global programmatic ad expenditure are recorded as high as 7.31 billion US dollars. 7.31 billion. So, point I'm making is that's not a small amount. And they say where the, there lies money, there lies tons and tons of opportunities, right? And this makes me speak that we can no longer operate in the shadows or programmatic advertising as a whole brings, uh, promotes and propagates brand perception, keeping transparency at the core. And shadows are not meant for us now, all right? Speaking about programmatic advertising or speaking programmatically, it's no longer a buzzword. You know, it's more about um, highly targeted data-driven campaign management, right? And uh, it helps you connect. Connect means it helps you connect your audience. It helps you connect the users, it helps you connect or retarget users, it helps you connect behavioral uh, segments or it helps you connect the interests of your users. It helps you connect the dots. By dots here, I'm trying to harness the power the open internet holds, right? When we talk about open internet, does anyone know here what open internet means? You know, when we compare it with the traditional walled gardens and its reach, it's a mere 35% chunk of users. Whereas on the open internet, rest 65% of users are readily open for you to advertise. Right? So giving an instance here, it's more about reaching out to the right user with the right brand on the right app or website compared to reaching out to a user who is on a social media platform to pass his time or for entertainment. 
This makes me talk about how we helped Swiggy Dine Out to retarget the users to make finally the first purchase on the Dine Out segment. So it was the users who were present in the Swiggy umbrella but have never made a Dine Out first purchase. So the specially curated cohorts helped us understand and cross almost 40,000 plus orders, first orders in the last six months, which gives me an average of 7,000 to 7,500 orders per month. And these were all Swiggy umbrella users and have never made a dine out first purchase. Right? So this makes me ask you guys or us as in community, as a community, um, what makes you trust any other mode of advertisement? Anyone? I know, uh, I think uh, it's lunch time, but please bear me, I think I'll only take uh, 10 minutes. Anyone? Anyone? What makes you guys trust any other uh, mode of uh, advertisement? Okay, what we feel is the first factor is transparency. The transparency the platform offers. Second is the future proof technology it has integrated. By future proof technology, I mean how AI and ML has been embedded on the platform. Now I've heard most berserk conversations about AI. You know, uh, Hindi mein bolu to AI, aise topics mein log AI dal dete zahan pe, zahan pe zarurati nahi hai. Right? But when it comes to our search DSP, AI is more like RNA and DNA in bloodstream. You know, you cannot separate water from water. Now, giving an instance here, how does AI help us as a demand-sided platform? So the DSP or our search DSP, which has been made from scratch, processes more than 200 billion ad requests a day. 200 billion, right? How am I supposed to know or how are we supposed to know how to display the right user, the right brand, on the right ad slot, on the right time, at the right price. That is where our thousand plus AI and ML enabled algorithms help us, not only to just increase our ad spends, also bring incrementality in the ROI to the client. Now, point I'm making here is AI is here to stay. Proven. Now how we build better relationship with AI, it's up to us. In fact, to all the veterans out here, uh, just like uh, to your respective spouses and families, you build uh, relationships, I think uh, we should be mending the same relationship with AI in the coming years. Right? Now, I think as we journey forward, um, trust becomes paramount, right? And that is what distinguishes programmatic as a mode of advertisement. So I think we are witnessing a growth, a paradigm shift and evolution. And it might be in front of us. Now it's up to us how we grab the opportunity. Thank you all for your time and I'll be happy to clear any doubts or queries backstage. Thank you so much.